Both our American and Euro models are now projecting the possibility of a strong landfalling hurricane in a couple weeks, but what are the odds of that actually happening? We've got wind chills in the 40s stretching down into portions of Kansas, Missouri, and central to southern Indiana, and this cold air will continue to push to the south and east as we move through this week. And it looks like we may be having a return to severe weather season. Here's our day one categorical threat, day two, and day three. It's September 4th, 2025. Let's get into the updates. This story continues to develop. The National Hurricane Center is now giving our disturbance out in the tropical Atlantic a 50% chance of becoming a tropical cyclone over the next two days and an 80% chance over the next week. We are very likely going to see our next name storm of the season from this one. And something very interesting happened last night. For the first time, our GFS and European models are seeing a very similar outcome with this storm. Here's the American model taking a very close approach to Florida. This would be a major hurricane. We're talking Cat 4, Cat 5, headed towards Florida and then moving up the coast before eventually making landfall in the Carolinas. And interestingly enough, our Euros see something similar. The latest 00Z European model also has this storm approaching Florida. Florida as a strong Cat 3, Cat 4, potentially even Cat 5 hurricane. Again, though, we're talking over 10 days out, maybe even two weeks out. So this track is highly unlikely to happen. It is just interesting that we're getting some model agreement, at least on this storm moving farther west than initially anticipated. No need to worry yet, but I'm going to keep my eye on it because once again, we are entering peak hurricane season. So this is when we expect the tropics to really get active. We have a powerful upper level low that is spinning up here to our north, and that is what is creating this squall line that is pushing out towards the east. That's going to give us some potential severe weather today. And with with this comes our trough bringing in tons of very cool air especially for this time of year as i said earlier we're seeing those wind chills in the 40s down into portions of kansas i believe kansas city's wind chills did get down into the 40s this morning and this is early september and with our latest european model run it looks like this cold air may be trying to dive even farther into the south on saturday take a look at this you can see those very cool temperatures pushing down into northern texas southern oklahoma arkansas kentucky tennessee even portions of the southeast and although saturday will be hot for you on the east coast you're getting a lot of that relief on Sunday. Here comes that cold air pushing out east and it should keep those temperatures down for quite a while, especially as we get into the middle of next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. We do have a large marginal risk for severe thunderstorms today across portions of the east. As of right now, this is mainly just a wind-driven marginal risk. The Rufus model does have these strong to severe thunderstorms beginning to fire off in the mid to late afternoon before pushing farther off to the east. And it does look like we could be watching for that severe threat until at least 10 or 11 p.m. tonight, potentially. We're also seeing some okay sig tour numbers in here so i think it's not impossible for a couple tornadoes to spin up today so just make sure if you're out here to have weather alerts on and the tornado threat tomorrow may actually ramp up through portions of tennessee kentucky west virginia and ohio i appreciate you guys watching this video if you like this type of content feel free to throw me a follower sub i make posts like this every day and i stream every day as well to try and answer all of your questions i'll see you in the next video